Hey, what's up, guys? It's SS Motor Warfare here, Gamer Time Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another little discussion video. Um, might do a few more of these, depends. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do more of these and what you want the next subject to be about. Um, but in this subject, again, stuff that I get asked on Skype and um, things like that in comments is what's better uh, between online files like stealth service files um, and offline files so the difference between stealth servers and offline files for getting on Xbox Live with your JTAG um, so uh, I've experienced both of them um, I used to be on the Sawyer files a while ago um, I've been on many different servers as well so yeah um, they both I wouldn't really say one is particularly better than the other. They've both got advantages, they both have disadvantages, but yeah, um, I don't know, they're just different. Uh, some things, yeah, it really depends. I can't say one is definitely better than the other. You just have to decide for yourself which one you prefer. Um, but I, in this video, I'm going to give you the advantages of offline files, the advantages of server files, and yeah, you can make your mind up from there, I guess. So starting off with offline files, um, two, there's only really two big advantages I can, I can really gather from offline files. One is that they are faster um, than servers, obviously, because with offline files, all the files are client-sided, they're all on your Xbox, so you can just directly connect to Xbox Live, and yeah, that's it, You're, it's much faster than a stealth service. Um, you know, some private servers are pretty fast, because, you know, they've not got hordes of people all on the one server. Um, Xbox Live Stealth was really slow. Um, not sure if it's still slow now, but you know, back when they were the only Stealth service available, Xbox Live Stealth, it was really, really slow because everybody was on that one server and yeah, it was just, and because it was a US based server, so people in other countries like the UK um, where I live is, you know, again, ping is going to be higher and it's going to be a slow connection it would take forever just to sign me into my account when I was on Xbox Live Stealth um, all this quite a long time ago um, but then now I'm on Sable that's ridiculously fast in comparison but again offline files will still be faster still because you know they're all on your Xbox and you can just directly connect whereas with uh, stealth files you know you have to connect to the stealth server so yeah it's, it's definitely a big advantage is that it's faster with offline files. Um, the other advantage is that there's no downtime at all uh, because obviously all the files are on your console so you're not gonna you're not gonna be offline unless you get hit offline your actual IP gets hit offline in which case you just reset your router and that's fine you know if you've got a dynamic IP uh, you can get back on uh, but the stealth servers they get DDoSed a lot well the private ones don't really get DDoSed but the public ones like Lifehammer and you know the other popular servers are all getting DDoSed well not all of them but they get DDoSed quite a lot the, whichever one seems to be the most successful gets DDoSed the most rival stealth services will try and DDoS their competitors uh, try to try and disrupt their service and it's really annoying for the customer who has to um, suffer with not being able to get their online time because their servers getting DDoSed um, and yeah you know it's a problem I mean normally they're they're kind about it the stealth service will give you a free day or something if you bought a day and they got DDoSed that same day for a few hours they may even give you another 24 hours free which is you know a kind thing of them to do but again it's just a use sense if you were wanting to get online on that day and they ended up getting DDoSed and you weren't able to get online so that's a big disadvantage of stealth service service services Jesus um, and for offline files that is a good advantage because they do not get any downtimes of course um, now next uh, that's really the only two advantages I can't really think of any specific things that make uh, offline files better. Um, in terms of stealth services, their advantages now. I know might a lot of people might say, "Oh well, offline files don't have XOIC spoofing or they don't have gold spoofing." That's not true. I mean, maybe some of the ones that were out not so long ago or the ones that are out today may not have 
all of the features like the BAM bypasses for Black Ops 2 and you know gold spoofing and XOSC spoofing but there's nothing stopping offline files from having those features so yeah it's not really a disadvantage um, for offline files because yeah there's nothing really stopping them from having that just maybe the current ones that are out at the moment don't have them for some reason but it could be added in so next are the stealth server servers and why they're well what their advantages are and first of all they offer a level of protection that you do not get with offline files that is a problem currently you don't get really any protection with offline files um, they could do MAC address spoofing I think or well no they couldn't could they I'm not entirely sure um, whether they can or not but from my experience um, the offline files don't have any MAC address spoofing or IP address masking because you're directly connecting to Xbox Live because the files are on your console so this subjects you more to the likes of an IP ban which will ban every other console in your house and a MAC address ban which well it, it's a MAC address flag so it flags up your MAC address and when you do get KV banned the next time you put a new fresh KV on there it may only last a few hours or a day or so because your MAC address was flagged now with stealth services they offer protection against that they have MAC spoofing um, because you're connecting through the stealth servers um, I think your IP address is is different I mean I'm not entirely sure about that whether your IP address shows as the server's IP I don't think it would or maybe it would but for some reason anyway unless they have some kind of spoofing thing built in there um, but whenever I'm on a stealth service like Sable or Livehammer or whatever they've I've never had to like go on a VPN or anything while online um, because I never get uh, my other consoles in my house banned when I'm on a stealth server which would suggest that they do offer some kind of IP address masking of some kind to prevent IP bans because it's never happened to me however on s when those Sawyer files came out when everybody hopped on those offline files loads of people were getting their consoles banned like retail consoles banned so their, their RGH would get banned and then it would also ban their retail console because they're doing an IP ban that never really happened with server files but with offline files it happened a hell of a lot so obviously the servers offer some kind of protection against IP bans and they do do MAC address spoofing as well um, which protects you from getting your MAC address flagged on your console which offline files don't have now you can set this up yourself for offline files there's nothing stopping you you can um, connect your console to your computer use a VPN to mask your IP to prevent IP bans or just change your IP address whenever you're switching console by restarting your uh, router and that'll do it or in terms of MAC address spoofing um, again connect your console to your computer you can use a program on your computer to spoof your MAC address a program called TMAC you can spoof your MAC address you just select your your local area network which is the adapter that your console is going through and you change the MAC address on that using the TMAC program and yeah you've got a spoof MAC address so you can do all that with offline files but you have to do it manually whereas the server files do that all for you so in some respects that's quite a big advantage that stealth servers have over offline files and one other thing about these stealth services is they tend to update quicker after a update so with offline files I would recommend you never buy offline files because they will get leaked out I mean they can put some kind of security they can encrypt stuff they can have some kind of CPU key verification but because it's all client sided it's much easier for people to um, just kind of bypass that security and then leak the offline files out for free and when that does happen and it has happened um, with the Sawyer files you know they had no protection whatsoever one person will sell some offline files to somebody they'll just give it to their friends for free and their friends friends will give it to all of their friends and then it'll get uploaded to the internet and everybody will have it for free and then the person who paid for it originally will be kind of pissed off so yeah um, don't buy offline files I wouldn't recommend buying them they're 
they're not worth buying because they'll probably be leaked out pretty pretty soon after um, and when they do get leaked out what tends to happen is Microsoft release a new dash update to try and patch it and yeah new offline files can come out after that but are you gonna have to pay again to get the new offline files whereas with a server file with servers when you're on a stealth service if you've bought time on a stealth service when a new dash update comes out yeah they'll be down for maybe a few days a week at the most but then they'll be back up and yeah you'll still if you've bought like a month if you've bought like a month and you were using one week of that time and then they, uh, there was a dash update and it was offline for a few days then you'd still have your time when you when the server updates for the new dash kernel and you can get back online with offline files you can't do that because when the offline files get patched um, if you're paying for them when they get patched that's it you're, you're just gonna have to buy new offline files again so you're paying for them again on the next dash update um, so yeah you know like I say they both have advantages they both have disadvantages let me know in the comments which one you prefer um, currently I'm on Xbox Live Sable which is a server but I have been on offline files and I found the offline files just fine um, I had no real problems with them only thing was of course I had to I had to make sure my IP address was different for my retail and my my RGH when I was on offline files I had to make sure I was spoofing my MAC address so my KVs lasted on offline files but yeah um, they're both good and they both have their own advantages and they both have disadvantages so thank you all for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already like the video if you liked it comment if you have any questions and let me know what you want the next discussion to be about so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time